right, time now for the skinny and leading us off. Try to control your excitement, okay. please. I know you're loving this. Okay. The okay. semifinals of Dancing with the Stars. But it's almost over. We're in the semifinals now. We're down to four couples. And last night, it appears the tables turned just a bit for some of the top competitors. Rumor Willis. Now, she's been the front runner for a long time, it seems now. She pulled in perfect scores last week. But hey, she came back down to earth a little bit. Her uh, Viennese waltz got her a score of 38. Well, out of 40, that's still pretty doggone uh -huh. good, right? But uh, plenty of straight tens from the judges last night, though. That's right. Riker Lynch had a perfect night, putting the heat on rumor with both of his dances. And Nastia Lukin also pulled in nothing but tens from the judges. Their performances leveling the field just like that. But the best performance of all has to go to Noah Galloway. He went down, not during a dance. But afterwards, you see right there, he dropped to one knee and proposed to his now fiance, Jamie Boyd. Uh, she said she was speechless at first, but then she managed to get out a heck yes. Yeah, this is, well, we get two reality shows in one here at ABC, boy. Yeah, we can, right? <laughs> we can make it work. story mixed in there. But congrats to him. We'll see if more congrats are uh, going to be in order when they start voting people off the show mm -hmm. here in a little bit. But congrats. Uh, we turn now to David Letterman. The countdown continues for the late night legend. Only a handful of shows left. He brought out an old friend, Howard Stern. The radio host brought out the new issue of Rolling Stone magazine and wanted to clear up a few points related to Letterman's retirement. So Stern, so overcome with emotion for fear he'll never see Dave again, well, he decided to leave him with something to remember him by. Terrible. Come here. No, no, what are you going to do? Come on here. Come here, come here, come here, no. come here, come here and hug me. No. No! Kiss me, kiss me, no, kiss me, kiss me now. Kiss me. <laughs> Stern has credited Letterman. <laughs> <laughs> did he ever get the kiss in? I don't think he did. That's just awkward. Uh, <laughs> what do you do here? Uh, again, Stern has credited Letterman for helping uh, make his career, helping him onto the national stage back in the 80s, and has always been one of the more memorable guests on the show. Let's see why. The rest of the week, we'll see George Clooney, Oprah Winfrey, and former President Bill Clinton say their goodbyes to Letterman. Probably no kissing there. His last show is next Wednesday, May 20th. But you never know. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, though, she's made her way back to the States. Thank goodness. We missed you around here, Lindsay. She's looking to continue her court-ordered community service, though, here in New York City. The 28-year-old actress was in London performing on West End, but couldn't finish the community service there. So, so in order to meet that May 28th deadline, Lohan will be working with children at a preschool in Brooklyn. She was ordered to complete 125 hours in February, but so far she's only gotten around to doing 9 hours and 45 minutes. She'll get there, though, but it seems like she's ready to get to work, get to business. She posted a picture on her Instagram account with the caption, happy to be home uh, in New York City with my family and friends ready to help. All right, fans of the Sex and the City franchise are buzzing this morning as it now looks like a third movie is in the works. Is that a good thing? Oh, well, why is not? That good, is that a good thing, Jack? Jack's clapping. It must be a good thing. Good. Yesterday, Sarah Jessica Parker, who of course played the lead character, Carrie Bradshaw, hinted at the groundbreaking HBO series becoming a trilogy. Slow clap. Okay, a trilogy. Okay. Everybody's got to have a trilogy now, right? Who, who started the trilogy thing? Was it Star Wars? No. Godfather, who did it first? Person. Yeah, okay. It was widely believed that the second Sex in the City movie was going to be a finale for Carrie, Charlotte, Miranda, and Samantha. But Parker posted this shot on Instagram with the caption, well, I guess the cat's out of the little brown bag. She then refers to a strict gag order, but will keep fans posted on details whenever she's able to do so. Interesting, the first Sex in the City movie has received a 49% on Rotten Tomatoes. The sequel only has a 15%. It is true, they've been going downhill, so well, maybe so they'll redeem themselves with number three. If you call it that. We got a bonus round of Skinny coming up, though. All right, bonus round. We need to say goodbye to one of the most successful television shows in history. Yes, American Idol is going bye-bye. Fox announced yesterday that after the conclusion of this season, the 15th season, next year, the show will be no more. Idol was the number one show for an incredible eight years and at its height pulled in 30 million viewers an episode. Well, now we will take a look at some of those inspiring singers that turned into household names. Thanks to the show, of course, there's Kelly Clarkson, Jennifer Hudson, Carrie Underwood, Philip Phillips. The list goes on and on. But here in the skinny, you know, we'd much rather just remember some of the other breakout stars, starting with season three. 
looks like a flop, but she stings like a bee. Like every girl in history. She bangs, she bangs. Thank I'm you. wasted by the way Thank she... Thank you. Okay, that's William Hung. A lot of people will remember him doing that Ricky Martin, she bangs. <laughs> you can't say Now, can't he... Know. He got a good run out of this thing. He had his 15, 16, 17 minutes of fame even. But he would tour around. People would invite him. I was at a game once, a professional basketball game. They invited him in to perform that doggone song. Wow. She banged. So he, he got something out of it. We hadn't heard from him in, what, seven years. But still, he got a good run. But he might sound good compared to this next guy. Yeah, so for that, we're going to go back even further to season two. Somehow I made it through it. Didn't know how lost I was until I found you. I was oh, beat goodness. That is Keith Buchelauer. I haven't seen this before. Doing that. Like a Virgin by Madonna. Something like that, I guess. Simon called him the worst singer in the world. Yeah. Simon was great on that show. Well, I second that opinion. This is pretty painful. <laughs> All right, let's go to someone who the judges actually enjoy. This was an Atlanta audition. You'll remember this guy, General Larry Platt, doing an original. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground, looking like a fool with your pants on the ground, with the gold in your mouth, hat turned sideways, pants hit the ground, call yourself a cool cat, looking like a fool, walking downtown with your pants on the ground, get it up. Hey, get he had a good run as well. People liked his performance, but they liked his message as well, talking about you can pull your pants up. Essentially, is what he was talking about. But he got a good run. That one doesn't get old. I can I can do without the William Hong she bangs, but pants on the ground, 